aviation safety regulation has moved on enormously over the last uh, few years. And it, it, it's obvious that, that if you are thinking about safety in a, in a cockpit, you cannot afford to get things wrong because the results could be very, very serious. And it's much, much more pertinent and, and fast moving than, than in, a, in a boardroom. And there are a number of aspects that have come out of aviation safety that I think could apply to risk management. For example, the focus on aviation risk management is not on blaming people, it's on developing processes that deliver safe performance and a culture where people understand what the, issue, what the risks are and if there are issues, are prepared to investigate and look at them and have a just, a just culture. What we tend to find with, with, with risk management is that the regulators look for two things. One is they look for someone to blame. If something's gone wrong, the newspapers, the politicians, the regulators are wanting to have a go at the CEO. And that may be justified. But in the end, is that the only thing? It's, it's a bit like always trying to cl claim pilot error is behind crashes. That's not what aviation... Aviation says, look, for something to go wrong, probably maybe a dozen things have to go wrong because we make sure that there are, there are barriers to, to, to risk becoming events. And that sort of focus on there must be a number of things happening here. All right, so somebody made a mistake, but we have to accept pilots, business people, they're all humans. So if you accept that someone's going to make a mistake, that gives you a different attitude than saying, when somebody makes a mistake, let's, vilif let's vilify them. So risk management, I mean, again, you take the regulator, they, they, one of their key recommendations is, let's, let's, let's board say what their risk appetite is. And I, I've asked lots of people, what is a risk appetite? You want to go in one of our aircraft, tell me what your risk appetite is. Uh, it's, it's not a concept that, that people can consider, but actually what increasingly we need to think about is what's the worst case that can happen. You know in aviation the worst case is easy, but in business what's the worst case? And time after time I find that in business your, what you projected to be your worst case, the reality turned out worse than that or the risk that happened that got you was not a risk that you thought about. And it's understanding this, so it's about the culture, it's about understanding that people are, own, are fallible and you have to have processes around them. And a, an upfront recognition, we must plan for the worst. Now in aviation, for example, we have a, a methodology, avoid, trap, mitigate. We do everything to avoid a risk happening it's, but it's equally important, you accept that risks are going to happen, they are going to become events, that you trap so you know when it's going wrong. And then thirdly, when it's gone wrong, that you know how you're going to mitigate it. Sometimes in business we say, oh, there's a risk, we, we found a mitigation, we're not going to worry about that. But in aviation you always work out, okay, we think this is inconceivable, but what if it does happen, this is how we'll handle it.